Hi, Joel MD here, also known as Dr. Bones of the survival medicine website doomandbloom.net. As you might know, I've been recording a series of videos on face masks lately as the COVID-19 pandemic begins to spread in the United States. One item used to protect against airborne viruses like the coronavirus is the face mask. There are surgical face masks that are meant to protect against large droplets and splatter, and others like the N95 that protect against microscopic airborne droplets just larger than 0.3 microns in size. It surprised me recently when the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, recommended against the public wearing N95 respirators to protect themselves from respiratory diseases, including COVID-19. The Surgeon General himself tweeted in all caps, stop buying masks. They are not effective in preventing general public from catching coronavirus. But if healthcare providers can't get them to care for sick patients, it puts them and our communities at risk. I'll agree that it makes sense that the people who most benefit from using N95s are indeed healthcare providers. But why would he say they aren't effective in preventing the general public from catching coronavirus? Possibly because the biggest risk of contamination may come from your hands, touching contaminated areas and then your face. People who wear the mask often come in contact with germs when they lift the mask up to eat or blow their nose or some other reason. The CDC says the best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to this virus. And I'll agree with that one too. Non-pharmaceutical interventions like hand washing, respiratory hygiene, and social distancing, all things I've recently talked about, will give you the best chance of not becoming infected. However, we can't all afford to stop going to work and miss a paycheck or avoid taking public transportation to get there. What do you do in that circumstance? The U.S. government has said that your risk of getting COVID-19 is small, and at the time of this recording, they're actually quite right. N95 masks are in very short supply because of the disruption of the chain of supply in mainland China. The government's national strategic stockpile has probably 30 to 40 million face masks, but the Surgeon General says they need 300 million to give to healthcare workers alone. It's naive to think that the average citizen is going to get any. The first priority for the government is to maintain the continuity of the government. I understand a major pandemic can take down an entire nation. The government doesn't take into account that a family member, however, may end up taking care of COVID-19 patients and is therefore a medical worker. These folks need respirator masks too, and the sick members of the family need surgical face masks to prevent large droplets from getting others sick. Let me go outside the conventional wisdom again and say that the average citizen should make rational purposeful, non-panicked efforts to get a supply of face masks and other personal protection equipment for possible community-wide outbreaks of infectious disease. Not necessarily to wear right this moment, but just in case. If you're a member of the preparedness community, it's just part of hoping for the best while preparing for the worst. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health and good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're concerned about epidemic disease, please check out Nurse Amy's line of medical kits and personal protection gear at her store at store.doomandbloom.net. That's store.doomandbloom.net. You'll be glad you did.